so a lot of people yesterday and today asking, when we're talking about wind chill, why, when I say it's minus, feeling like minus 15, do we not just say it's minus 15 mm. outside? Uh, so I thought we'd kind of dive into the science of it. The, the reality is, the reason why we talk about air temperature is that air temperature affects not just humans, but also all the structures and the cars outside. So it's important to know what the actual air temperature is. Humans are impacted by wind chill for two different reasons. Structures aren't. Here's why. Uh, how we stay warm outside in the winter is that humans actually, uh, we warm up the thin layer of air around our body. We, we use the energy within our body to warm up that thin layer of air. Sounds a little obscure. Think of like a wetsuit when you jump into water and the wetsuit fills with water. Mm -hmm. To stay warm, your body warms up that layer of water in between you and the suit, okay. and that's what keeps you insulated. So same kind of idea. We insulate ourselves with this uh, layer of air. Any sort of wind is going to disrupt that layer of air, and then we have to use energy to rewarm up that layer of air. This costs us energy money, if you think of that. We have to like pay energy to warm up that layer of air. So the more times we have to do this, the colder and colder we get. Okay. Um, so any type of wind disrupts us, whether it's wind blowing lightly or strong, or even us walking, that disrupts that layer of air. And so we have to expend all this energy. So that taxes our body a little bit. That's one process, by warming that layer of air. The second, is that any type of wind wicks away any moisture on our body. And evaporation is a cooling process. Again, it costs energy to evaporate water droplets into the air to dissolve them into water vapor. So think about, I know, Ben, you're like, okay. No, no, I'm working this through my head. <laughs> think about like when you jump out of a lake yeah. and you get real cold yeah. really fast. It's because your body's evaporating all that water on mm -hmm. you. So it cools you off dramatically. So two processes. Uh, wind chill is a calculated value. It's not measured, which is why we don't say it feels like minus 15 degrees because we can't actually measure it. We calculate it with this handy little chart from Environment Canada. Uh, so you can actually estimate what your wind chill will be. If it's minus 10 and the wind uh, is coming in at 10 kilometers an hour, feels like minus 15. The wind's coming in at 60 clicks an hour, feels like minus 23. Well, there you go. Thank Can you, you very much. Can we post this somewhere? Yeah, yeah. I'll post it yeah. on my Twitter. I want to say That's thank great. you for that. Here's what's going to happen. I am now going to take this information. I'm going to adopt it as my own. I'm going to forget big chunks, so I'm going to make some <laughs> other stuff up, and then I'm going to tell other people what I think the truth is. <laughs> so you're going to mansplain. Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to, ma I'm going to weather explain. I'm going to do it very convincingly. Yeah, so I will. I will. will. Yep. I mean, this is why, look at her. She's just beauty and Thank brains, ladies that, and gentlemen. I, know, I, I need that chart. I yeah. need that chart. Brain. <laughs>